Hi everyone. So today's uh, module classification theory no? recent trends in library classification. We need to discuss recent trends in library classification. So this is the topic coming to slides. So this is about introduction. So here the trends and developments in library classification it can be traced from the period making year of 1876. So this year, the significance of this 1876 in the history of classification is when Melville DV published decimal classification. In 1876 only, Melville DV published DV decimal classification. So with this, the history, or we can we can say that the history begins with this 1876. So during the past 12 decades, that is 76 to 1996, these developments have taken place in the field of library classification. These 12 decades are very much significant, important in library classification. And next one. So during this period, general as well as special schemes also published. So there are two types of uh, classification schemes like general as well as special schemes. So this period, these two types of schemes have been published. And uh, regarding the major general schemes like uh, you all know that DV decimal classification, UDC, universal decimal classification, and the colon classification. These three classification systems have witnessed major developments. So in this slide, 1876 is the significance year in the history of library classification. From this year only, the history starts. And this period is very much important from 1876 to 1996. Almost all the developments in the classification or in the field of classification have taken place in this period and also special as well as general schemes published and DV decimal classification as well as universal decimal classification and colon classification. So these three types of schemes have witnessed major developments. Okay, coming to next slide. So here many national as well as international organizations and eminent classificationists took the cause of library classification. So there are national as well as international organizations and at the same time the classificationists the, uh, who designed the classification scheme is known as a classificationist. So these two classificationists and international national organizations took the cause of library classification. So at the same time international, regional, national conferences are also held to discuss various aspects of classification. Various, at various levels, the conferences were also held. So for what is the purpose? What was the purpose means to discuss various aspects of classification. And also the output of that literature covering various facets of library classification in terms of both macro micro documents is very impressive. So conferences law, the literature, the what is the output of the literature and uh, what are the facets of library classification means. So at the macro and micro documents is very impressive. And next one, the following sections briefly deal with the trends and developments of especially during the last 12 decades. So next coming to next slide, what are the uh, what are the major developments? So there are three distinct periods in the history of the classification. So Dr. S. R. Ranganathan, he recognized three distinct periods. There are three periods. The first one is pre facet period falls between 1876 to 1896 and second period is change to face it period falls between 1897 to 1932 and coming to face it period that is the last period face it period falls between 1933 to 1972. So these three distinct periods Ranganathan recognized. So let us discuss one by one. So first one, Pre-facet period. 
So what are the developments in pre-phased period law? Melville Dewey's decimal classification, which was published in 1876, and C.A. Cutter's expansive classification. This is also another scheme of classification known as expansive classification, which, is, which was published in 1879 by C.A. Cutters. So in pre-phased period, that is in the first period, these two types of classification systems were published. One is DV decimal classification and another one is Cutters expansive classification. So this is about first period. Coming to second period, that is in the transition to facet period, universal decimal classification. 1897 to 1905 and Library of Congress classification 1902 were published. So the, in the second period, which is known as transition to facet period, two more classification schemes were developed. One is universal decimal classification published in between 1897 to 1905 and another one Another classification is Library of Congress classification, which was published in 1902. So these two schemes were published in the second period, that is a transition to facet period. Coming to next one, last one, the facet period. So in this period, this period witnessed the publication of Ranganathan's colon classification, published in 1933 as well as Bliss Bibliographic Classification that is 1935 and the Library Bibliographic Classification 1960 and the Ferment Riders Riders International Classification were published in 1961. So in the last period that is in the facet period the prominent classification schemes were Colon classification 1933 devised by Ranganathan and Bliss bibliographic classification 1935. The person, he was the person was Bliss. The, his scheme of classification is known as bibliographic classification. And uh, another one is Riders Internet. The person is Rider. So Riders International classification was published in 1961. These three types of schemes were very important. And another one is library bibliographic classification also. Next one. Oh, next one. These classifications have an organizations as well as institutions to take up the responsibility for their revision, development, maintenance and application. So he, almost all the classification schemes, they all they have all organizations as well as institutions. And every classification system has its own institution as well as organization. What is the responsibility of these institutions or organizations means they take up the responsibility for their uh, revision, development, maintenance and application. So classification organizations and institutions take the responsibility for the revision, development, maintenance and application of all types of classification schemes. So here, the developments presented in DDC, UDC and CCR. So coming to next slide, this is about 18th and 19th editions. So the 18th edition was published in 1976, which was in three volumes, volume one tables, volume two schedules and volume three index. So, and for the first time, five more auxiliary tables like um, table three, subdivisions of individual literatures, table four, subdivision of individual languages, table five, racial, ethnic and national groups, table six, languages and table seven, persons were added. So. This is about 18th edition. 18th edition was published in 1976 in three volumes and the tables were also added. In addition to table one, standard subdivisions and table two. This is not a aims, areas. And this is about 18th edition. And coming to 19th edition, the 19th edition was published in 79. 
in three volumes again and uh, the policy that was initiated in the 17th edition was also carried out in this edition also so which was uh, made by benjamin a custer seven years once recycling and here the important features of this uh, 19th edition are so this is about 19th edition published in 1979 so what are the important features are the first one is it's a diagram showing how hierarchical classification proceeds from the general to the specific in ddc so hierarchical classification which proceeds from the general to the specific is dealt in 19th edition next one there is a diagram also showing and next what is the next important feature is practical guide to the use of classification and a very detailed step by step instructions are also uh, are also provided for what purpose means for building the numbers in the main class that is 800 literature so 19th edition was published in 79 in three volumes and as well as the two important features here are there is a diagram showing hierarchical classification which proceeds from general to specific and practical guide also provided a very detailed step by step instructions are also provided for building the to construct the class numbers in the main class especially 800 literature so this is about 18th and 19th edition next one 21st edition which was published in 1996 in four volumes and edited by john s mitchell et al so 21st edition was published by sorry edited by mitchell et al and here the users uh, what are the features of uh, 21st edition are users convenience so in ela how which includes more information located strategically to guide the classifier so in the 21st edition more important information was located for the purpose of the classifier or to guide the classifier who design or who provides a class number is known as a classifier so the 21st edition was very much helpful to classifiers and the numerous captions also have been rewritten to eliminate vague headings and next one third one examples and contain notes were also replaced with including notes so including notes were also replaced with the examples and contain notes so pre in the previous edition we can show examples and contain notes so these two were replaced with including notes so including notes has been provided as well as the relative index also it has more entries than the index to the 20th edition 20th edition 20th edition to police the 20 first edition lo it has also more entries especially in the relative index and also expanded manual so fifth uh, fifth feature is uh, manual also has been expanded in the 21st edition and uh, special attention also has been given to the reductions of the us and christian bias so to reduce the christian and us bias also special attention has been given in the 21st edition so the 21st edition law it was published in 1996 in four volumes and the editor was john s mitchell you need to remember all these points and what are the features of 21st edition are users convenience and more information has been located and also numerous captions have been rewritten to so to eliminate vague headings numerous captions have been rewritten and including notes were uh, provided and the relative index also has more interest more entries and expanded manual is also provided and to reduce christian and us bias us bias special attention also has been given in the 21st edition these are the important features of 21st edition which was which you need to remember okay coming to following years witnessed the emergence of a sophisticated computer based tutorial editorial support 
so here coming to 28th and 21st editions ddc 21st one appeared in two formats so both in print as well as dv for windows so 21st edition coach is sir there are two formats coming as a print one well one, sorry first one is in print value or uh, in print format as well as it also appeared in dv for windows a microsoft windows tm based version which was released in 1996 august this is a cd version and also a home page contains current information on the dv decimal classification so this is the url of the 21st edition that is http www.oclc.org so this is about 21st edition the important point is 21st edition was published in two formats that is in print and the second one is dv for windows coming to so this is about ddc dv decimal classification and developments in udc next one is universal decimal classification this is the next next classification system okay 